I play the game, you guys. I played Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream. And I have come to tell you my honest opinion. It is not as good as Grand Blue. But I think it might do better than Grand Blue. And let me explain to you why. So first off, the game plays very unresponsively. It feels bad. <laughs> Compared to Grand Blue, it feels terrible to play. There's no tracking when it comes to like your attacks. You end up just like slicing the air half the time. The bosses, they're jank as hell. It has a system where you don't actually have your skills. They, for some reason, they, they took this weird MOBA approach where you load into the game and then you have to like farm EXP to like level up and then put points into skills. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. The effects aren't as good as Grand Blue. The sounds are not as, as good. They're not as visceral. The skills don't feel as, as good to use. The hit impacts aren't as good. But it does have a 20 player. Since it has 20 player, it'd be like kind of fun to do like a community game of it. Other things that it does better than Grand Blue are it does have like proper loot drop. You don't have any of this sigil bull. It drops swords and like rings and outfits. There are five parties of four, but there's only 18 characters. Yeah, you can double characters, just not in the same party. It does have like the same sort of systems. Like it's got blocking, dodging, perfect dodge, perfect parry, S similar to Grand Blue. Now, here's the thing. Grand Blue died because Psy Games hates making money. I don't know what is wrong with them at Psy Games. They, they just hate making money for some reason. They just don't like it. However, do you know who made this game? Do you know who made Sword Art Online? Bandai Namco. And they love making money. They will rip you off as hard as possible. And because of that, I kind of have faith that the game will last longer. <laughs> <laughs> they grab they're gonna milk this sh Ugh. maximum like did you know they're still releasing content for shinobi strikers did you guys know that they still haven't added private matches so that people can have a competitive scene for the game they still have not added private matches but they still add new characters look at that they just released in august they released a new character I'm, i might play this a, I, might, I might actually play it a little bit maybe tonight or tomorrow we'll see as you can see here, there are different weapons. It also has some interesting like co-op setups. Like there's mechanics, like do you like group attacks and stuff like that. So it, it does have that that aspect to it. Also the character creations, uh, the character customization is pretty cool. You can actually put any character into uh, whatever outfit. Like you can have Leafa wearing like Asuna's outfit and stuff like that. You can, you can really customize your characters. It does look kind of weird with Leafa though, because her tits are so huge. She's like massive tits. Like when you put her in like someone else's clothes, it just, spilling out you know it's hard to explain like if you haven't played grand blue like grand blue is so perfect the gameplay is crisp it's responsive like the combos feel really really good in this game it feels jank it's got like that okay this is the best way to explain it it's got the anime video game jank anyone know what i mean like you ever play like an anime video game everything feels like slightly off it's like the hits feel a little weird it feels like the ground is muddy Ugh. sound effects that are like they sound plastic you know what i mean uh, that's that's what this game has it suffers from that same thing it feels like a chinese knockoff that's the best way to explain it the hits on you feel weird yeah everything feels weird and then and then also and then they cover it up by just making the particles like really loud and annoying you can't say chinese knockoff anymore wukong was bug true in video gaming china's kind of killing it to be honest like ZZZ feels quality, it's visceral. It feels like, it feels heavy. Like the, the hits feel heavy. Everything feels like really epic. Uh, unlike again, anime games where it feels like a wet noodle every time. I, I don't understand. I don't understand like why, but like every single anime game has this. Again, the good the good news, which is hilarious, that's the good news, is that Bandai Namco is very greedy. There, this game will probably last longer than Granblue Fantasy. There's that. I was playing Leafa, by the way, who's like a support character, and she was really hard to play. Their whole mechanic is that she flies up into the air. Yeah, she was kind of fun to play. It was kind of interesting. You only like her because because uh, she's his cousin. So. Anyway, um, 